Hello, this is Jim with DC Digital. Today I'm demonstrating a DC-25 ALN dash date 40 dash time dash POE dash stainless. And this has a this is a clean room clock and it's an IP66 316L stainless enclosure. And as you can see, we have 2.3 inch red LEDs. They're alphanumeric LEDs for the date and the day, month, and year format. And then we've got four inch seven segment LEDs for the time of day. And it is in 12 hour format currently can be changed to 24 hour. And we are in daylight savings for Eastern Standard Time. So all that can be changed within the software. And it has the latest 2.0 version software. So this is NTP protocol and it holds the network web page. So the software is on a circuit board card within the enclosure and uh, connected to all of the electronics, but it, it hosts the web page that gets served up once you've plugged it in, and I'll show you how to do that. It is PoE, so it's power over ethernet, so you get the power and data on one cable. And um, mounts, so there's 12 screws around the front, of the case that you can remove to mount it and so the front plate removes it has a uh, close cell gasket keeps the water out it's like i said ip66 you can clean it these are acrylic lenses and I'm just going to show you these mounting tabs that are on here so there's three places three anchor points to mount it Two of them are keyhole tabs, and the third is just a straight hole. And then there's also closed cell foam to attach it to the wall that will seal it to the wall. Just not just an extra precaution. You won't let uh, moisture in and allow it to get into the electronics. It has a cable gland for your Ethernet cable. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the web page that we have that we uh, have on board of the network card. So I'm going to zoom in and show the web page here. I'll try to get the camera on my finger out of the way. So there's the web page. I've got it on the laptop. And I'll go through the different aspects of the web page. Now to find the uh, address is to, we have a uh, small little exe file uh, that you can download from our website and I will include that on the video, um, the, where the write up is for the video on YouTube. But anyways, that is, and I will show you and get to it here right here on the screen and as you can see it's called netburner ip setup and then you locate your specific right now we have a date time clock set up right dc digital with the ip that you need and so i'm just going to go down through the web page obviously you have dc digital contact us if you need it just type in dcdigital.com comes up home page configuration settings and then your network settings so right now currently we're on the home page and i'm showing the product information which is the model number so at the factory we go ahead and put all that in so you don't have to and then also the serial number to the unit and then we have the time of day which is in the correct format which is being fed back from the network card after it connects so you will not get any you won't get the time of day or the date until it connects and gets that successfully from your NTP server. 
and then right below it you have the time of day I mean the date sorry 24 April 23rd below that on the web page you have your NTP server information so the NTP server address currently we're going to time nist.gov the last synchronized was at 12, uh, 24 April 23 at 14 and then that's all shown in uh, military time 14308 it was last synchronized and it was a success and the synchronization is done every minute the static IP is a static IP network information network information is static device name now you can set your name up however you want that is user selectable so if it's a hallway or one of the clean rooms numbers or whatnot you can put that into this um, I'll show you that here in a minute it's got the MAC address device IP address device subnet mask your gateway address your DNS and then down to bottom we had the time information and what format so the time is formats 12 hour the current time zone is Eastern Daylight Savings Time and current local offset is minus four hours from GMT, Greenwich Mean, mean Time. The way to get into the setup, so you have your home page, you have your configuration setup. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now normally you would put in a username and a password to get to this level and currently the default is username password so uh, to get into this you would uh, put that in all lowercase and then here's your where you put in your ntp server settings ntp server address time nist.gov or your ip that you need update interval once every minute or can go up to 1800 minutes so once every 1800 minutes if you don't need it that often Time settings, it's 12 hours, so what we have is 12 or 24 hour time zone, Eastern US Daylight Savings Time, or you can put in time zone real, uh, rule, I'm sorry, um, that, that you can get from it. We'll show how to get that too from the internet. And then your temperature settings, we do not have temperature on the specific unit. We do sell them with time and temperature. And then you can go to the last page, which is your network settings. And this is where you would set up your username and password. And currently it's default sent from the factory this way. And then you would simply put in your new password and then push the click the change password button. Network configuration, your device name. So this is where you would put in your name for your device, where it's located possibly however you want to set that up addressing mode is static or you can set it up for DHCP we send them all from the factory DHCP so once you get them you just plug them in make sure everything's working properly for you you can find it on your server um, you can find it on your network and uh, go from there device IP address if you want to put it in statically and then also your subnet and your gateway and your server. Go ahead and once you've got that all entered, you just push change configuration. Go back down to the home page. Come back to the home page. So now you're monitoring this specific clock. And we do sell a web server that will, if you have more than one clock in your system, which a lot of people do, you can combine all your clocks on the web server one and it would put all your time and dates your last synchronized and whether it was a success or not in that web page and tell you that you know whether you're you have a good link to your network or not so again this is Jim with DC digital and I'm demonstrating the DC-25 ALN dash date dash 40 time dash POE stainless.
Thanks for watching.